This time, it's the real deal. As your county executive, I can tell you right now, our residents don't want to lose Long Island's only professional sports team. Not to mention seeing the shuttering of this aging coliseum, nor the loss of present jobs, but a loss of current economic benefits at our hotels, restaurants, stores. To construct a new coliseum and enhance the area known as the hub, an investment of nearly $400 million is necessary. A new home for the New York Islanders will be realized. The residents of Nassau County and the New York Islanders are creating a partnership to get a new arena constructed and keep the New York Islanders on Long Island to the year 2045. And this deal does not put the burden on the taxpayers of Nassau County. The New York Islanders and the arena will contribute a significant part of their revenue streams to pay for our new iconic venue. This structure will house our only major professional sports franchise and provide a first-class facility for all events, such as concerts, yeah. family shows, circuses, etc., allowing Long to surpass all the other new facilities in the marketplace. This is a deal that not only preserves the current financial streams and jobs, but actually adds thousands of new jobs and an enormous positive economic impact to Nassau County. We, as Long Island, do not need to take a back seat to anyone or any place. <laughs> New York Islands have built a campaign for this upcoming season around the word for commitment. This simple word is enormously strong in so many ways. Our organization, as you probably have seen, has been intentionally quiet in our approach to obtaining our goal. But our commitment to Long Island has never wavered. Long Island is our home, and the New York Islanders are our team. So I'd like to introduce Town of Hempstead Supervisor Kate Murray. stimulate our local economy. Now, as part of the county executive's uh, plan, uh, he, he talks about uh, gaming at Belmont Racetrack. I think that presents an exciting potential uh, at a beautiful, beautiful landmark location. I encourage uh, our county executive, all of our county and state officials, and indeed all officials who proudly represent the communities of Elmont, Floral Park, Garden City, and all of the communities that surround that Belmont track uh, to talk with our residents, to get into the details with our residents so we can be truly a partnership. We should go on and not look in the back view mirror and look forward. Okay, we can spend a lot of time. Yeah. And, and I believe that if you look back, we all learn from each each time we embark on a new journey. We learn something, and we'll continue to learn from this experience. An optimistic. Can you elaborate on how much um, having the new arena might help out the Islanders as far as being? You need to spend more on players. Yeah. I think it's like anything else. You have a business, you run it like a business. Certainly Sorry. the success it's of the okay. island is heavily dependent on the revenue and so forth. I think if you look at our record last year, subtract the 20 game losing streak, if you lose, forget that part, we did pretty well. We had a pretty good team. I think in the, from December 16th to the end of the season, I think we were in our conference, I think we were the second, have the second best record. No. Which says something about what we're building. 